Hey guys, Nick here from Maintenance Assistant. In this video, we're going to cover how to set up scheduled reports. In addition to the run function, Maintenance Assistant also comes with a scheduling option, which produces reports automatically on a specific timeline. For example, let's use the Open Work Orders Assigned to User report, which shows me all open work orders relating to a specific user. From here, I click on the Scheduling tab and create a new schedule that will run my reports automatically. You can add more than one schedule if you need to. Here, I can customize how often I want to receive the report. Some reports may be more suited on a daily basis, whereas other reports may be more suited on a weekly or monthly. So for this report, I want to receive them every day starting today. In the User tab, I can set which users will receive the report via email. I can set to all users in a specific group or individuals. Under the Parameters tab, I can see what parameters the report will be scheduled on. So for this report, I have to choose which user the report's data will be collected from. I'm going to choose Jeff. Final step is to set to Enable and Maintenance Assistant does the rest. In another example, I want to report on closed work orders for all maintenance types. I search for the report and click on it. It's important to select the schedule that is right for you. Keep in mind that different months begin on different days of the week, so be sure you're clear when these reports will be generated. This report I need on Monday of every week, and I only want my managers to receive them. In this example, I'm given different parameters since my report is based on different information. In this case, I have period parameters. Maintenance Assistant automatically sets the beginning and end of the period to your current date. These need to be changed. In this example, I want my report to be generated based on the previous week's data. So in this case, the beginning and end of my period need to be dynamic values. For this report, the beginning of my period is the start of the previous week and the end of my period is the start of the current week. This way, I only get data from the week prior. I hit Enable, click Save, and I'm ready to go.